Hey everyone, in today's Instagram video, I'm gonna show you how to post on Instagram any image without actually cropping it. And most people don't really care if they crop an image a little bit, but if you're doing this as a photographer, for example, you care a lot because maybe you took your picture exactly the way you want. You don't wanna crop it on top, you don't wanna crop it on the side, and you don't really want black bars on the side or on the left and the right side or the top and bottom, right? So what do you do in that case? Is there a way to do this? Well, I was just about to make a video on how to do this with Photoshop, but I know a lot of times people want a completely free way to do this and they don't have Photoshop or they don't know how to use Photoshop, even photographers sometimes. So I found a really easy and simple way after a bunch of research, and I'm gonna credit the guy that I learned this from. I'll put his video in the description as well. His name is John Keeley and he really explained it well. So let me show you exactly how to do it and what app to use for uh, your iOS or Android phone. So the app is a photo editing app called Snapseed. It's free for iOS and for Android, and I have a link in the description to it as well. Let me go ahead and open it here. And the first thing you wanna do is you need to open up your picture. So press open right on top over here and open up a picture. I've already done this obviously to this picture, but go ahead and choose from your device. So send it to your device, to your mobile device, and this will be nice and easy on your phone. Here it is, this is the image here. So let me show you the size here. I'll go to tool and I'll choose crop. And we're not gonna crop, I just wanna show you the size here. So square is what I want to go to. This is the original free, so I could crop the way I want. But if I go to square, this is what Instagram is going to do. It's gonna lose some of the sky if I move this down, or it's gonna kinda lose some of their body here on the bottom. So maybe I don't wanna do that. Maybe I want this exact size from top and bottom. So the only way really to do that and still have a square image is to add to the right and left, but not a black bar. This actually uses a software technique to do this. Let me show you how this works. Let me press X on the crop. Let's go back to tool one more time. And there's a tool called expand. You see this option right here, press expand. And look what I could do now. I could expand left right here, expand out and I let go. It created more of a photo for me just using the software. Okay, that information was not there before. This has been around in Photoshop for a while, but it's really nice to have it on a free app. So on the right too, if I go like this, you see that it's just adding to it. Sometimes it's not perfect. So you will have to do some touch ups that I'll show you in a second. But now this is a lot more of a size that I want without taking away from my original picture. I'm adding to it, not cropping in any way or losing the information. Let me just press check mark for now here on the bottom because I wanna show you one more tool because if you zoom in, you'll notice some of this is kind of blurry and it doesn't look quite right, especially with pictures that have a lot of detail. So there's another tool, if I press tools on the bottom, it's called healing here. And it's like the healing brush in Photoshop. It does the same thing. So if I choose healing, I could zoom in more and I could just randomly select some of this and kind of change the pattern that this created for me. Okay, so you definitely want to zoom in because you want just like really fine details here to kind of chop up this line that it created and some of this stuff here on the side. Now you don't want to do this on your subject, just kind of the extra sides that this created for me. So you see that on my subject, it's not good, it erased their hand. So I'll undo that. And let me go on this side, same kind of thing. You just wanna, you know, break up some of that artificial stuff that was created. Let me press done and zoom out. Okay, so you could take your time with that and really make it nice, but most people are looking at your subject. They're not really looking at what's around. Now this also works for landscape, but for people, especially with a background like this, it works pretty well. Now let me go back to tools and crop one more time to see where we ended up with our size. So if I choose crop again, and let's go to square, you could see I still have to add a little bit more to the left and right because it's still cropping just a little bit. So I could again go back to my expand tool and just stretch out this side a little bit more and this side a little bit more, and then press check mark. And let's go back to tool and crop one more time. Let's see where we ended up this time. There we go, now I'm actually cropping left and right, which is just the extra areas that I created. So if I press crop now and press the check mark on crop, nothing from the original picture has been taken away. 
the sky, the headroom on top and the bottom is exactly what I had before. I just add it to the left and right to get a perfect square without any cropping. And now right from this app, you could press export on the bottom. You could go ahead and uh, export it on the bottom. That's the export option as a JPEG. Or you could press share and share right here directly on Instagram. I prefer to press export actually and export as a JPEG and it will save a copy on my photos library here on my phone that I could send to my computer or post directly to Instagram from my phone. Really, really cool technique with a free app on your phone. So I airdropped the professional picture from the computer to my phone. This is just a stock photo, but if you took it professionally, like a wedding photo, same idea, then you crop it, then it will show up perfectly as a square on your Instagram feed. I hope you found this useful. I'm gonna create the Photoshop video, which is a lot better in my opinion, as far as the stuff it adds to your pictures. But again, Photoshop is much more advanced than a free app on your phone. So I'll make that on the Photoshop channel and I'll put a link in the description once that's ready. I hope this was helpful to you. Please give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more. Check out the other link that I added in the description from the guy that taught me this method. And I hope to catch you next time.